Check this out. Everybody at home watching on MySpace, check this out. If you have to remember, Kuwait is the staging place for the all soldiers going up to Iraq. This is the last uh, location, if you will, that they'll see of anything that will remind them of home. And for the company of MySpace to come to Kuwait and bring class A acts here uh, is a huge morale booster. It's like bringing back home, you know. It's uh, it actually boosts morale just a little bit. Yeah. It all makes us kind of forget about what we're doing right now. Yeah. Which for like five minutes would be great. It's going to be a great lift to all the troops because this military duty's got so much uh, heartache involved. You know, a lot of people don't really see that. Uh, people are separated from their families and uh, that they love very much back in the States. And, you know, it's just, it's just going to be a great time where they can let their hair down and just have a great time. Sometimes it's going to be very difficult um, dealing with nothing but deployment, nothing but your chain of command, nothing but your peers. MySpace is a great tool to connect what you experience in deployment with what happens back home. Me and Lockins, POC Lockin, we are stationed uh, at Fort Campbell. I don't know, I guess you call it fate. Um, we had our babies the same day and we here together. <laughs> yeah, just turned four months old. Maybe about four days after that. This is difficult for me, uh, being that it's my first deployment. Um, and it's my buddy. She's gonna be all right. She's gonna be fine. It's, it's like you know, this is her first deployment, and don't know what to be expected out of her, and. Um, like I said, when she gets to, you know, four to six, you know, they're going to they gonna treat her like, you know, family back at home. <laughs> and she's made it a lot easier for me to deal with losing my family, you know. I know they're taken care of, but, you know, my kids are my world, <clears throat> you know. So and it's difficult to, you know, wonder if um, when I get home, if that small child that I left is, going to even know who I am. But you know, that's a decision I made when I joined the Army. You know, so life goes on. I'm extremely proud to serve. I represent the red, white, and blue. That's what I live for. I've been doing this since 1974, and here it is 2008. And I do it because I believe in the freedom. I believe in peace. I believe in our Constitution. I believe in what America stands for. This is why I'm serving, because I believe I'm part of the best country in the world. <laughs> All right. Okay, guys. All right. We are uh, near the end of this beautiful journey that we've had together, guys. Oh, uh, but, but Jessica did promise us one last beautiful song. Would you like to hear that? You know, you know what? Everybody else, everybody else who's part of the show, come up on stage. I do, I do want to set this up, though. Okay, um, go ahead and set it up. I, um, the very first time that I actually felt the true meaning of this song was when I went over to Bosnia, and I was over with the USO and performing, and um, I just, I, I wanted to sing God Bless America, and I got up on stage, and I started singing God Bless America, and I looked out to everybody, all the men and women in uniform, and I saw tears streaming down people's face and people looking up, and I, it was the first time that I actually realized that the song was a prayer for God to bless America. I mean, you grow up singing it, and you don't really pay attention to it the way that you guys out here fighting for our freedom pay attention to it until you're, you're out here and 
just surrounded by it. And so I want to thank all of you for making me realize um, that God does bless America if, if we ask Him to, and because of you guys. So we're going to all sing, and y'all can help me out a little bit. <laughs>